So here we have the Hyundai Tucson on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot. We'll then hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then underneath this tray section, even more space should you need it. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run from the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 19,230. Above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there by using buttons on the steering wheel. We're on the kind of driving data menu at the moment, but there are other menus available. So uh, vehicle systems, uh, various car settings, and user settings. If I back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are here. We have cruise control and speed limiter over that side as well. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls in the middle section here. You won't be able to use the phone controls until such time as you pair the phone to the car. And that is done over on the screen in the center just here. Hit the phone button and then use the numbers that correspond with what it is you need to do up there. So we're going to cancel for now. When it comes to music, we have FM, AM and DAB radio. You can listen to your own music. Nothing is connected at the moment. But you can connect up an auxiliary device, a USB device, and you can stream your music wirelessly as well, should you wish to. With the main volume for the stereo over there. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be diverted once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off in this case, or back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain those temperatures by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that whenever you wish to. We also have a heated driver seat and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Underneath that section, we have two 12 volt charging sockets along with the auxiliary and USB inputs, a six speed manual gearbox, and then these buttons just here. So you can turn the parking sensors off. You can turn the stop and start off and then these two buttons I'll show you on here. The first one turns that green light on to the right hand side. That's to let you know you turned on downhill brake control and turned it off again. And then the other one will put the steering mode into normal or sport. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.